thing I want to talk about with this game is, I don't think he can actually hit my Shedinja. Look at that board, and tell me what Pokemon moves he has that can hit Shedinja. I guess Miracle or anything, but like, Xerneas ain't doing it! He can like, Toxic me! So, I actually just feel really good here. Like, I think I'm just gonna go Groudon and Shedinja. So, Groudon, Shedinja, we're gonna bring Reshiram still. And, like, I kinda wanna go Sceptile. Like, he has... A lot of stuff that I do work against. I mean, Ditto's probably just the right play. Yeah, she's gonna go Ditto. Ditto's always good against Xerneas. You just gotta play it correctly. So here we go. Here we go! We're trying our best here. We're trying our absolute best. Alright. Whew. Let's go. Did that guy host me or not? I thought I saw, like, a host, but... It's whatever. I don't know if he did. I thought he did. That's okay. We got Groudon and Shedinja. Versus Smeargle Zerny. It's like, what's he gonna do? Spore me? I just feel like really okay here. Alright! Another host. We take those. There we go. He did host me. Alright, cool. He did. It just it just now popped up on the screen. Alright, well, like I said, hope y'all are having a, a great day. I mean, I could protect my Groudon and just go for the Will-O-Wisp. I think I will. I just don't want to eat, like, a spore or something like that. What's he gonna do? Like, he ain't, he ain't hitting my Shen intro with anything important. Hey, always up to host VGC content. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for the host. I really appreciate it. Alright, there's the Geo. That's fine. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch out Shen intro next turn for my Ditto. And it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit AF. And we're gonna try and sub. Because I want to block a Spore. There we go. So he gets his boost off, right? Can I hit this? Are you freaking kidding? Ah! Ah, come on! Can't hit Woolwiss? Accuracy foe. Ooh, that's scary for him. Alright, well. Let's try it. That would have been, been really nice if that would have worked. But whatever. <laughs> Yeah, let's try, and, let's try and sub. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, I copy a Xerneas. Alright. Yeah, it would have been nice to hit that Will Wisp. It would put a big timer up on that guy. So Ditto's in. Ditto is now Xerneas. And what are you going for, Smeargle? Another Fairy Aura? Let's see it. Follow me, bro. Like I would even ever attack you. Why would I waste my time attacking you? Moonblast. Oof. I mean, I ate one of these earlier. Holy crap. That did too much. That did too much. Alright. I mean, I copied the Xerneas. We take those. And what's he got? Accuracy row sharply. Speed drop, please? There we go. We take that. Alright. I can almost sub again. I think I'm actually going to protect my ditto. Yo, is that a resub? Hasagi with the resub. We appreciate that. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Precipice Blades. Like, I actually don't really care if he hits my Groudon. But I've been getting pretty unlucky so far in the stream today. So protect him with ditto. He's going to Y-Guard me? Really? Fuck. He has Y-Guard. You just don't have a Spore. And he D-Gleams. Oh my gosh. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, oh well. Okay, we have Reshiram and Evasiveness now. Alright, well, I'm just going to send out uh, Shedinja. Finally caught that since stream. I've been sick for like a week, dude. I'm still sick. Alright, now we're going to be fine. I don't want to get spored by that Smeargle. It's alright. Oh my goodness, though. We're gonna go for Alex. I don't think he can hit Shedinja. Can Reshiram tank a Moonblast? Yeah, I can tank one. Moonblast. Blocked! Get out of here! Lemon T? I'm like, mostly over it. Special attack drop. We take those! Yes, please. Spore? What? You're spoiling my Shedinja? 
Really? I'm upset. Now remember guys, I missed a Will-O-Wisp on that Xerneas on the first turn of the game. It's been like five turns since then. Like, how, like, how ahead would I be right now? It's hard to say. Let's go for a Will-O-Wisp. And we're, I mean, it doesn't matter. We'll wake up eventually. God, I should probably just try and sunny day here. But I don't think he can hit the Shedinja. That's like the thing. That's the whole point of my game plan. Is like, I gotta lock in my moves relatively fast. Because like, there isn't a game timer. And I don't think he can hit me. He's withdrawing Smeargle. It shouldn't just Ash, yeah, it is. So Ogre, like, what are these two Pokemon gonna do to a Shedinja? Cut your throats, your throat, and be like, yo, I need a good throat chop going on right now, guys. Throat chop. That's what it is. Here we go. Starting to rain. Raining it up. Xerneas, that's the first turn of sleep right there. Dazzling Gleam. Perfect! Yo, get those, get those boosts out of here, my guy. You could dazzle him all you want. Now, I tricked him into dazzling gleaming. I tricked him into doing that, because he moonblasted the first time, and an ally switch, and, he's, and now he's like, I just really want to mess around with ally switch. You can bring your Smirk back, and you can, your Xerneas can lose its boosts, my guy. Red card, ditto. Pretty good. Switching in on the Wobble Wisp. Yes, please. Yes, please. We take those guys all the way to the bank. Here we go. Um, we are going to try and protect. All right, what are you getting? Speed Root. Oost. Ooh, that's bad. Special attack drop. All right, well, he can, like, re-put everything to sleep forever. All right, we're going to Sunny Day. Yeah, he's used a lot less time than me. Or, sorry, he's used... Like, 10 seconds more than me, which is a really good thing. If we are going to go to time. Smeargle has Wide Guard, Fake Out, Spore, Follow Me. He does not have a move that can hit me. He's going to Fake Out there. I tried to protect. Sunny Day, though. Are we sw We're faster than his Ogre? What the hell? All right, whatever. Well, I'm glad I Sunny Dayed. Because now you're weak AF, my guy. You're weak. Origin Pulse. Origin Weakness. Origin Weakness. Shouldn't you too good? Yo, you're right. When you're right, you're right, my guy. <laughs> oh, it's so weak. It's so weak. All right. We're going to ally switch this turn. Evasing this again? Stop it. Stop it. And you got the shiny stuff on last night? Nice, nice. All right. We are going to ally switch and moonblast that ogre. Perfect. All right. Here we go. Forfeit. That's right. You can't hit me! You can't touch this! Shedinja! Turning losing situations into an automatic victory. We take it's like those. everywhere today. That guy has a good team. That actually... So, my my team that I'm using next is Xerneas, Beanie, Crobat, Groudon. I think it's like the best core right now. So, really like this guy's team. I want to see how he runs it. Um, I think I'm going to make Ditto copy Crobat, if possible. Because Crobat just kind of bodies all those things. The good thing is he doesn't have any fake out potential, so like I think if I set up a tailwind, I'm okay. Like actually, what does he have against Shedinja other than like the bottom two moms? I don't think he has anything. He might have knockoff on Kartana. I think I'm gonna go Reshiram and Shedinja. Let's just try it, you know? Then go Ditto and Groudon. I mean I, I just wanna try it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it's whatever, right? Let's try it. Shedinja will make him think. We could burn a Kartana. Like, oh, that's huge. That's huge. So let's see. I think Shedinja messes with him. Like, he, he's probably excited if, like, he doesn't see it. Just because he doesn't want to deal with it. I almost always see Donner Ogre. Yeah, you gotta bring one. Yeah, you gotta bring one, pretty much. That's that's the format, man. So, Incineroar Crobat. Alright. So, potentially both those things can hit Shedinja. Gotta be a little bit careful. He's going to fake out my Reshiram. I think I'm actually going to take this opportunity. Is he going to fake out me? I'm actually going to try and just blue flare the crap out of that Crobat. I don't really want to trade Tailwinds with him. Actually, I kind of do. I'm going to try and Tailwind. And I'm actually going to try and uh, go for a Will-O-Wisp on the Crobat. If he wants to go Brave Bird... And, uh, like, yeah, fake out, this is fine. He has the Brave Bird! Okay, so he has Brave Bird! It's totally fine. I didn't think I'd see Brave Bird at all. I did not think I would see that here. Hmm. Hmm. 
is this Ultra Moon and Sun? Yeah, it is. I think I'm going to protect with Shedinja and just use uh, Tailwind here. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm playing on Ultra Sun right now. Alright, so let's see if he takes a Terran to Tailwind. If he doesn't, I'm going to have a pretty big advantage. Yeah, hey, he gets his Tailwind up. That's good. So we're trading Tailwinds, which means I'm not incredibly behind. And he's just going for a knockoff, I think, onto my Shedinja slot. So next turn, I'm going to uh, go for a uh, ally switch. Knock off. Blocked, boys! That's right. I think he's going to knock off my Reshiram, though. I might just switch the Shedinja out. This could actually be, like, the best play anyone's ever seen. Watch this shit. Alright, so we're switching out Shedinja. I, those are two things that can hit my Shedinja, by the way. Uh, other than the Groudon. So, like, if we actually preserve our Reshiram correctly, we have the correct mon to beat all three of those things. And we now have an Intimidator and a Fake Out user slash Roar user. Like, he's gonna go for a Brave Bird. It's like, dude, I don't give two fucks if you Brave Bird that. And also, the Brave Bird goes in here, right? He's Intimidated and Burned. It does, like, that's nothing, right? But it procs my red card, which means something is eating that big dick damage from the life orb blue flare. And it's gonna be ground on! Oh yeah! Ooh! That's the that's that good stuff. Mmm. And I can fake out next turn. Yo, blue flare, come in! Yo, phoning it in! That's that big damage. Delete. Red card, boys. That's another way how you play that right there. And he's going to go for a knockoff on my Reshiram. But, like, you're intimidated, too. Like, perfect. Perfect play. All right, what are you going to send out? What do you got? What do you got in the bank? Show it to me. Are you going to send out your Xerneas? Oh, yeah, I sent out the Xerneas. I mean, I want to see what his Incineroar has. I know Blue Flare will just, like, one-shot his Xerneas. So I kind of want to just fake out it. I mean, I'm going to put the blue flare on the Xerneas right now. And what does he have? He has Flare Blitz Protect Knockoff Fake Out. So he does not have Roar. Okay. He's going to protect with the Xerneas this first turn. So we're actually going to take this time and just go for... I think I'm just going to go for a big blue flare into the Xerneas. And just fake... I, I think I'm going to knock off his Incineroar this turn. Because I know he has some sort of berry. <laughs> He's protecting. Yeah. I don't need to go for fake outs. I don't need to go for... Uh, I don't need to fake out his Incineroar because he doesn't have any damage. Um, so Blue Flare keeps it honest. Right? That's the honesty right there. And he's going to knock off me, but we, we are, he already knocked out my item. He'd have to crit me. Yeah. Like, I chunk it now. Remember, he's the one that's intimidated. And I'm going to get rid of his berry. Perfect. So, berry. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That means I can Draco that guy whenever I want. But actually, now we're just going to nuke the crap out of that Xerneas using his son he's the one that wanted this by the way BT dubs he's withdrawing his center run for Crobat he's going for a double protect he might have to be he might have to be going for that double unless he just wants to go for a moon blast on my restaurant but then he eats like oh he just goes for the G <laughs> alright come on blue flare let me hit this it's very muy importante that we hit this move we need to do like that 30%. That like 30%. It's real important. And note that he's like probably heavily invested in speed. That's how he outspent my Reshiram here. Because Reshiram ain't no slouch in speed. Blue Flare, yes! Let's see how bulky he is. Remember, he got that plus two special D boost. Oh, you're weak! You're weak! And the Flare Blitz comes home. This is boosted by the power of the sun, my guys. Into that defense stat? Yes, please. Delete. Delete. Remember what Pokemon settled us up? We still have Shedinja. Like, Tailwind's delete, but like, I have my, my, I have my uh, Groudon in the back. I have this Ditto here. I think I'm going to switch Ditto out. Um, and just come back in in a couple more turns. I, yeah, let me, let me just think about exactly how I want to do it. Yeah, I'm going to switch out Incineroar for uh, Shedinja. And I think I might just let Reshiram go down. Or I'll force him to, like, do something, you know? Like. Yeah, we're actually going to go Blue Flare into Crobat and switch out Ditto for Shedinja. And if he goes for, uh, just to KO my Reshiram somehow, somehow, 
uh, I'll just send out Ditto, copy Incineroar, get a nice double Intimidate, and have my Ditto back, ready to refake out the Incineroar, and do a whole bunch of other cool stuff. So fake out into Reshiram, ain't no thing. Do what you want to do. Tailwind, totally fine. Next turn, you guys ready for Ally Switch? Who's ready for Ally Switch? Raise your hands. Raise a hand if you're ready for Ally Switch. I haven't showed it yet. I have not showed it yet. Hmm. I think I'm going to Ally Switch and actually... Yeah, this is fine. Ally Switch and Blue Flare. Here we go, boys! This is it! It's not too long to go without food. That's five hours. That's like, you actually don't need food for like four more hours. Alright, he's going for the Brave Bird. I don't think it's KOs. Right, you are burnt! Just kidding, I'm dead as fuck. Well, we lost both our Pokemon there. Oh, well. I didn't think I was going to both of them. I didn't, th I didn't think I was. Oh, wait, he's all orbed. He's... Is he orbed? No. Eh, it was whatever. I thought I was going to live the Brave Bird. I, I thought I was going to live it. That's my bad, bad, I think. All right, Sunlight Dissipates just in time for my boy, Groudon. All right, Groudon's coming back. Guess who's back? Back again. Groudon's back. Tell a friend. Who do we really want to copy? I'm thinking about it. Like, I kind of want to copy that Crobat, but I will totally copy the Incineroar. And I think I'm just going to fake out his Incineroar and Fire Punch his Crobat. <laughs> Here we go. Ditto. Dude, Ditto's so good. I mean, he can go for big Brave Birds on my Ditto. It won't do that much, especially because you're intimidated, my guy. You're intimidated. There we go. And then once we get his Crobat off the board, it's going to be easy. Alright, so fake out onto Incineroar and Fire Punch into Crobat. And remember, that Incineroar doesn't have a bear anymore either, so like I think we're in like a really good spot. But let's see. I don't think it's Crobat's gonna protect. That's not the play. Incineroar's gonna protect. That's fine. Like, you you go for it, my guy. You know I'm fake on that thing. And uh, let's see if he pops a uh, like Brave Bird onto my Oh, he's going for a taunt. I could respect that, because, like, he doesn't want me setting up a sub. But, like, why would I sub when I can just win? Why would I sub when I can just win? Delete. Like, Crobat's really good. I respected that Crobat quite a bit this whole set, I feel. Like, I said, the only way we even, like, come close to losing is if the Crobat freaking, uh, has Brave Bird, which it did. And I know I would run Brave Bird on my Crobat. I totally would. So all we gotta do is hit the biggest Precipice Blades. I still think we win either way. He's going to go for a Floribits into my Groudon. Or my Ditto. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, he's going into Groudon. But, like, even if he crit, that wouldn't have done anything. He's taking a ton of recoil. He has no berry. Like, we got the Precipice Blades on deck. Coming in. Single target. Super effective. Stabbed. Big damage. Delete, dude. Get that out of here, man. Get that out of here. This guy should have brought Feeny. Should have brought the Feeny.